there yogis for you today i have a yoga sequence for stiff neck so get comfortable on your mat and start rolling your shoulders down and away from your ears in a few rolls let it be gentle let it be soft and start maybe rocking your head side to side working at your own pace half circles or full circles good move everything back to center and place your right hand on your left shoulder bending your knee to your right and start pushing your chin towards the shoulder and up towards the ceiling a few times bring everything back to center left hand right shoulder and head to the left rock your head chin up chin down work at your own pace Good. Bring everything back to center, bring your hands to your knees and do a, a few rounds of seated cat and cow. Pushing forward, inhaling, pushing back, exhaling. Find your flow. Change the crossing of your legs. Place again your hands on your knees and move into a half circles. Left, forward, right, and right, forward, left. Keep your eyes closed. Enjoy. Center and now to the back. Right, back left back right and back left open up your shoulder blades spread out good work on some shoulder rolls maybe adding your elbows rolling down backwards and forwards a few times so good to work with your eyes closed good move into a tabletop pose and place your fingertips on your mat rolling the shoulders back in a few circles activate your fingertips Activate your shoulders and roll again your neck right and left. Palms down, point the toes, downward facing dog. Keep it simple for today, rocking your hips from side to side. Rocking the head no. And rocking your head yes. Good, still moving out, shaking up, right leg rises, step the foot forward in between your hands, climb up for a low lunge, center your weight, good, right hand behind your back, left arm all the way up and side bend to the right. Good. 
left hand on your head push gently your head towards the shoulder like to you want to increase the stretching on your neck good hands down half splits head to knee let your head be super heavy here bend the knee again back to downward facing dog feet together left leg rises step the foot forward for a low lunge climb on your knee first and then left hand behind your back right arm up and side bend to the left Right hand on your head, pull gently the head towards the shoulder. No stress. Good. Hands down, straighten your left leg, half splits. Head to knee. If your back wants to round, let it do it good back to down dog one more time feet together a tiptoe walk to the top halfway lift flat back exhale ragdoll fold grab your elbows and gently sway side to side relax your arms and roll all the way up into a standing position nice Take a big step back and let's meet together into goddess pose. Cactus arms first and then eagle arms right under left. Take a few circles to the right a couple of times. Chest circles and then to the left a couple of times. Chest circles, super big. Spread your wings out, cactus arms, interlace the fingers behind your back and lower all the way down for a wide-legged fold. Let your head be heavy. Release your arms down, halfway lift, walk to the top of your mat and take it back to downward facing dog. Set your knees on the mat wide. We're gonna do a thread the needle into our wide legged fold left arm on the right first try to stay heavy as much as you can and switch side Honor the first benefits that you might experience now. Awesome, you guys. 
move all the way back and sit on your heels inhale spread your wings offer the chest up and then clasp your hands and push forward around the spine reach all the way to the right push a little bit all the way to the left pulling with your hands reach all the way up arms up hands behind your head and lean back a little bit heart is up neck is soft roll down cat pose arch and neutral spine move back into your leg pose feet on the ground let your knees fall to the right head falls to the left knees to the left head to the right bring it back to center hug the knees to the chest and we are ready for our final relaxation couple of minutes in Shavasana just to integrate the work we have done together. If you want to stay in Shavasana a little bit longer, please do it. Otherwise, start moving your hands and feet. Stretch your body out. Move side to side. And when you're ready, roll onto one side and bring it back to a seated position. Thank you so very much for joining me today. I wish you a wonderful day, Yogi. See you soon.